Hello everyone, it's me ASMR for welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll edit this photo and uh, with a dodge burn and proper color correction everything I'll do with this photo and I'll make a preset for you guys and I'll provide you that preset download link in my video description and we'll check out that preset how it works in this type of other images so let's get started if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first I'm making copy by pressing ctrl J and J so one is the like um, highlight and the shadow two things so i'm giving the name that is shadow and another one is highlight and it will be like in a like that okay and highlight this layer i'll make it a screen and the highlight shadow layer shadow layer will be multiply okay making this group to layers and giving the name dodge and burn okay done and now i will mask it after masking these things go to the image options and apply image in this portion i will make it uh, like 50 percent that's good and everything will be same and it okay and now I'll work with these two things so highlight right press blending options from here find out the highlight here is the slide underlining layer so here is the portion it will find out the highlight like that and shadow like that so just press the option or alter button this triangle will divide and you can find the way like that yeah that's fine and hit ok after that mask it out go to the image and apply image and hit ok this portion right press go to the blending options divide this portion or this triangle from the slider just press over here find out the shadow like that and hit ok and then just select or mask this one go to the image and apply image and in this invert that things and hit ok so let's see before and after you are getting the dodge and burn automatically if you need you can change the opacity like uh, here or here so which opacity is good you have to choose okay fine and then i'll make another copy of this layer now select these two layer and make it smart object convert to smart object and after that so before and after we are getting like that now we will do the light setup and the color correction from camera raw filter go to the filter and camera raw filter from here uh, here increase the exposure a little bit and highlight a little bit down whites a little bit up that's fine and contrast give some contrast shadow a little bit okay that's fine and texture a little bit up and the dehaze a little bit up that's fine and after that i'll remove the spots from the face how to remove that here is spot healing brush tool and select from here the heel and select which area is affected or the spotted area just click over here on my one this spot will remove this portion so here the prominent spots i am removing not all the spots just because of i want to make the face natural if you turn on the visualize spots you will get the spot more prominently in a face the white portions are the spots in the face so you'll have to remove that okay nice before and after okay go to the hand tool again now i'll do color correction at first i'll go to the cal calibration options i'll do color like that and this this color will be like that and like that that's fine before after okay and then now i'll go to the split toning options which is for the highlight color and shadow color 
I'll increase the saturation a little bit and find out the hue or which color will be. Slide this slider slowly. You'll find out the color. Okay. In highlight color, I'm keeping this type of things are here in a hue portion. I'll find out that's fine. Okay. And from here RGB tone curve, I'll go to the blue tone curve. I'll make it down a little bit. That's fine. And it will make will make it up a little bit. Okay. And the red red portion I lock up over here and I'll give the color in a phase a little bit. That's fine. The RGB tone curve lock over here and add some grammar a little bit from here that's fine so before and after you're getting the look which is the like cinematic okay from this portion i'll remove this spot and this spot those are uh, prominent uh, in a face so here okay nice and like that if you need you can add some detail and the luminance of noise reduction the noise reduction will help you out to reduce noise from the image and hsl panel hue of the orange i'll make like this Check this and the luminance of the orange shall increase and the red as well and the yellow as well that's fine and from the panel which is the basic panel i'll decrease the highlight and add some shadow that's good and before and after that's good and making the preset for you guys saving these things and save this one and then hit ok in this photo let's see the before image and after image now i'll add another light which is the extra light take another blank layer and go to the brush options pick up the color from here i'll take the color which is the yellowish type lights and go to the brush b from the keyboard and which is the default brush this one is the default brush in your photoshop okay make the brush size increase like that select once press ctrl or command t make it bigger i'll make it more bigger like that yeah after uh, adding the brush i'll like neutralize that things go to the screen options and go to the opacity like 40 or 53 percent okay go to the adjustment layer go to the levels here i'll decrease and increase the lights and other stops that's fine and now i have to increase the eye color so what i'll have to do so for that i will take another blank layer and take the brush again make the brush size according to the cornea uh, like this and that's fine and now i'll go to the white color increase the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing select once in a cornea and over here go to the blending mode and make it overlay so before and after make the fill color a little bit down it will be more natural if you add that okay so before if i consider the before and after make a group and make a snapshot like that after that go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so it's taking time okay fine from here i'm using the cross processing and from here which method is perfect for your photo you have to pick up i'm using these these or this photo so c04 is good if you need you can decrease the strength of the here percentage i'm making it okay that's good and hit okay it's taking time to load up and give you or provide you the final output if you want to get the download link of these plugins please check out my video description i'll provide all the plugins and the other steps over there let's see without dodge burn how the preset working how the preset like a work so making another copy filter and camera filter i'm not adding any kind of dodge burn or other stuffs but i want to load the uh, camera or preset which is 
which was like that and in this panel you have to change the light and the highlight as well from here okay so these photo lights and other stuffs might be not same as your own photograph so you have to adjust that things according to your photographs from here you have to change uh, you may have to change the luminance like that or like that okay fine and hit okay so in this photo i'm not applied the dodge burn process but i applied the preset for the camera row and going to the filter and nick collection so i'm using here two things the like, xmp files and the nick collection the output what will be the output let's see i think in this photo i'll have to change the preset and i have to make the filter like that it's taking time to load up and uh, processing a really nice effects which is uh, really cool and you can use that preset and the filter in your photography as well hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on the video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the preset and other stuff please check out my video description and stay at home don't go outside until the next video i'm asmr signing out today bye bye